So it might be about time I admit I might have a problem cutting mufflers off. So if you know anything about this channel, you know that ain't gonna cut it. So today I figured it'd be a good idea. We're gonna chop the freaking muffler off this thing. Y'all always see me take the trucks down to the muffler shop and get them all dollied up and everything, do true duels on them and stuff. But I figured, you know what? We're gonna do a little DIY at home, chop the muffler off, see how it sounds. Obviously, exhaust always sounds better whenever you have a full exhaust pipe running back. But for the, I wanna just chop my muffler off and do this at home kind of people, that's what we're gonna be doing today. But first I saw a comment that said it'd be a flex if we took the trim off of the fender flares or the little chrome pieces, whatever you wanna call these things. If we took these little things off and there wasn't any rust under there, that would be a flex. Cause I have full confidence that there's not gonna be any rust under these things, but we won't know until we try. And just like that, we got them off. So there is a scuff here. It looks like that's like paint from another vehicle on here. So I should be able to polish that off. We'll see. But you mean just you can, you can look, I'm gonna wash this off. There ain't no rust on this thing, boy. Nah. Even the frame on this thing has got bare minimum rust. So it's it's rust is really not an issue around here. This truck does have a boatload of miles on it. So it does have some little leaks here and there. But as far as rust, not really a problem. This is why people get rust up north and stuff, even down here, but these fender flare things catch a lot of dirt and they hold it in between this and your paint and that eventually will erode away, especially if you live up north where salt and stuff can get in here or sand. Clean out under here on top of that. We're gonna pressure wash those things clean and get them back on. All right, same video, different day. I'm gonna show y'all what this freaking crap accomplished, some awesome stuff. I think we're having a whole video showing y'all what you can do with this kind of stuff. But we got all the flares put back on. Truck's looking pretty good. We were able to get, I'd say like 90% of that scuff off. There's just these tiny little thing there and there and it's like truly in the paint. I need to try to get a clay bar with it or, or a, you know, a heavier compound polish. But that stuff really did take off like y'all saw it. it was a huge piece anyways we got the sawzall i'm gonna jack the truck up because it's fairly low we're gonna crawl under there i'm gonna show you all the exhaust and then what we're gonna cut off and then we're just gonna we're, we're gonna chop it off and, and see what the old five seven sounds like with the true dual muffler delete <laughs> all right so if you're not familiar with these older trucks exhaust systems it's gonna look a little weird because usually your cats are up real close to the manifolds on newer stuff whereas on this they're pretty far back so Right there is the driver's side, which is placed farther up than this one to make it equal because it has to come from all the way over there to here, whereas the other one comes straight down. So they're kind of offset to make it equal length, which is, you know, it's funny how they have them all the way back here in order to do that. But anyways, these are the cats. That's why most of these trucks are just catless because it is super easy just to delete them. They're way back here on the main part of the truck. But if we come back here, it is true duels all the way back to this muffler from the factory. We're gonna cut it right behind that hanger. It shouldn't be floppy. If it is, we'll have to rig something up so that that passenger side, or the, actually that's the driver's side, doesn't flop, but it should be fine. Was able to have an impact from it hitting it burning it because it was hot and cutting it because it was sharp <laughs> gum boy anyways i just went and cleaned it up put some freaking neosporin junk on there so now all we got to do is pull that hanger off and there's one more right there you really just got to manhandle them and uh pull that little head 
through. All right, I was able to get that one out fairly easy. This one's gonna be a little bit harder. I was use, able to use the weight of that muffler to get that one out. <laughs> Slip these on, try to keep it from beating up the side of the truck. And just like that, we are all done. Just about ready to crank this thing up and see how good or bad it sounds. But two two inch pipes going into this single muffler and then going out, that looks like a three inch outlet. But little bitty two inch pipes going both sides. So we got the true dual muffler delete. What do y'all think this is gonna sound like? It looks good without that big pipe hanging out too. It's gonna be iffy. Obviously, it's not go it's not gonna sound anything like if the pipes were ran out the back. It's just not. Tips help, extra pipe helps. But it's definitely gonna be pretty loud because it's literally just cats and then dumped right now because that huge muffler is what's holding in all that 5.7 sound. So, catch my breath. <sighs> Let's go ahead and Crank this thing up, see just how loud it is, see if we freaking ruin this truck. Alright, so honestly not that bad, kind of sounds like a dirt track car. Just got the old pipes cut off, it shouldn't give us any issues being where it is right there, but... <laughs> just a little lumpy <laughs> dirt track sound, so... Uh, I guess let's take it for a spin, see how it sounds going down the road, and then we'll get back and give it some revs once we got some temp in it, and uh, <laughs> see if we have a genuine uh, dirt truck now. I didn't even bring my freaking phone. I need that in case something were to happen. <laughs> it honestly doesn't sound that bad. It's kind of... It kind of has that like, you know, you see a lot of these old trucks that are like completely ragged out. Kind of have that, uh, the muffler has rusted its way out sound. <laughs> Dude, these trucks are so peppy, peppy. It's so weird going from my, my 18 to this. This has got such a, I mean, just instantaneous throttle response. Like the sound matches the, the feel. Whereas in my truck, you get sound and then you get feel. It's obviously a factory tuned newer truck they're just like that but it's just funny all right made voyage <laughs> it's honestly pretty quiet just normal acceleration obviously it is cut off down there it's just exiting out of a cut pipe it's honestly not even that droning. There's like no drone. I mean, you can hear it back there, but it's not droning. That's actually really funny. Dude, for a little DIY at home, choppy chop for free, it sounds pretty freaking good. Better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was gonna be like really overly loud and just horrendous rasp and just terrible sounding but it's honestly pretty smooth i mean it is raspy and it's definitely a, a cut exhaust i don't know if maybe putting some turn downs on it would help at all i mean it's got just a little nice slump to it
give her the old bridge test. baby burnout. guys well there she is little diy true dual muffler delete on the old 5.7 i think it sounds pretty freaking good especially on those revs man those backfires are pretty violent and if you've been watching the larry videos from the beginning you know one of the first things we did was cut the exhaust off because it had a muffler that wide to duels but it was super rusted out so i ended up just cutting it off at the muffler so it had a single pipe you know on these it goes down to one and then back it had the one single and we just had that cut off about where this one is as well it sounded horrible it really just did not sound good this this i think sounds 10 times better which is probably because it is the true duels so i really want to get the truck looking a lot better than it does and then we'll go get the full true duels put on it all the way out back get some good nice big tips on there it'll sound a million times better and then we can have some 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 comparisons between it and larry earl and larry i keep forgetting that we named it earl so it's earl and larry so um, but for free at home chop your mufflers off I think it's honestly pretty awesome. It's not overly loud, even when you kind of are getting on it, cruising. It's a it's a raspy kind of dirt track kind of vibe kind of sound. Like you, I mean it it sounds good and it sounds bad at the same time. I'll be honest, okay. So if you're wanting just a free loud mod, there you go. Chop your muffler off. I know there's probably already going to be people saying that it's got no back pressure and all that kind of crap. You can believe what you want to believe. It's got two inch pipe from the manifolds halfway down the truck. I think it's I think it's fine. But I do definitely want to get the full exhaust ran on it because I know it will sound a million times better. But for a little quick at home thing, I think that is pretty sick. And look at these, dude. Look at them freaking 97 and the 99. I have ordered the spindle kit for this truck. Whether that is up or down, we'll have to wait and find out. Larry is looking just a million times more beefy, if I'm being honest. Larry is looking like a freaking freaking beast over here and old earl's kind of struggling right now but we, we we working we you know parts are a little slow to come by right now and there's been a couple other reasons why things have been a little slow so just bear with me it's all gonna come together but anyways for old 220 thousand mile clap wagon she's sounding and looking pretty good that's gonna pretty much do it for this video hopefully y'all did enjoy definitely comment down below let me know what y'all think is this thing freaking ruined now or for uh you know a quick hour job sound pretty good and if we're being honest the way you cut you can cut them like that you could totally put this back on put some exhaust clamps on it and have the exhaust back to stock so not that big a deal but definitely be sure to subscribe leave a like comment share all the good stuff a lot more oral content coming larry baby squat every, just everything dude i got plans for everything just bear with me bear with me so anyways i'll catch y'all in the next one